Hi there, welcome to the HTML email template design and coding tutorial number one. I am Onu from the email template support. I will show you how to make an HTML email template from scratch. Let's get started. What you will need to start this tutorial is a code editor. I am using the brackets code editor for now. This is a free editor. You can download it from brackets.io notepad plus plus is another code editor that you can use the second thing you need to have a browser the most recommended browser is firefox it is it does not manipulate any codes so it will provide you a better output the third one is photoshop or any other image manipulating tool to resize your images for HTML email template. Number four, you have to host the images of your HTML email template. So I am hosting it on my MailChimp content studio for now. You can host the images at your own web server as well. If you don't have a web server ready, you can sign up for MailChimp for free. MailChimp.com and sign up for it and then you can host your image files in my files here. Here you can upload your images and host them online. You can select and upload your images from here. So what is an HTML email template? You see I received lots of emails and I am opening a few for you. This is an HTML email template. HTML email template is formatted like this and it can have the images, it can have the clickable links, it can have the unsubscribe buttons or something like this. This is another example of an HTML email template. HTML email templates are mostly formatted and have a limited width of 600 to 800 pixels like this and have some clickable links or formatted text. What is a plain text email? This is a plain text email. For these emails, doesn't have some graphically designed layout rather than that is very simple like this. So these are the basic difference between an HTML email template and and plain text email template. Plain text email template are left aligned and not formatted and not beautifully designed like an HTML email templates like this one or this one. Okay, enough discussion for now. Let's go to the coding chapter. First, you have to make a HTML file, a blank HTML file. How you will make a blank HTML file? On, on Windows, right click and make a new text file. Change the file extension from TXT to HTML. If you don't see the file extension here, then you can do a workaround, go to view and the options and then scroll down and see the option which calls the hide extension for known file types. Uncheck that and you will see the extension is appearing. If you are in Mac, go to Spotlight Search and search for text edit app. Then go to file, click on save, select here from web page HTML, give it a name and click on save. It will save a test HTML file like this. You can add the dot HTML extension for better compatibility. So a new blank file is created. Let's dive in. Open the file on the code editor 
that is brackets I am using for now so it's already opened I assume that you are familiar with basic HTML if you are not then you can search it on YouTube to learn the basic HTML or I can upload the basic HTML tutorial later for now I will teach you in the way that uh, without the basic HTML knowledge you can learn enough the HTML email template easily today we will learn about how to write a very simple HTML email so I opened the blank HTML file on my brackets uh, you see this is a block theme a block theme will help reducing your eye uh, issues while working so you can do that by go to view themes and change it from light default to dark okay so what is HTML and what is CSS to make a HTML email template you have to learn HTML and basic CSS if we compare it with human body then the skeleton is the HTML and the colors the shape the muscle the body weight it see is the CSS in my dummy HTML in my dummy HTML the index HTML file you will see some code like this It may look very hard if you are not familiar with basic HTML but once you move forward with this course it will be very easy at the end. You don't have to write all these stuffs each time you start a new HTML email. I will show you what is common for every email template. So you can copy and save that for future use. For most of the email templates you create from this part to this part is necessary what will be changed in defined email templates is the media query part from this area to this area so uh, later on when we learn about media query you will see what we will change here for different email templates starting from the line number one to the end of the css these things you have to keep common for all of your email templates for now for the media query part what will change i will discuss later and make you understand how to do that for different email templates now i will show you how to write a very basic html page html starts with the html tag this is the starting tag this is the end tag a starting tag doesn't have this slash in tag have this slash every HTML page you create will be wrapped in this HTML tags there are lots of HTML tags available you can see the complete list in the w3 schools here w3 schools.com slash tags slash default ASP here you'll see the lots of HTML tags available but in the HTML email template we will need just a handful of tags not them all just very basic and very few HTML tags. The old school, school tags like table, HTML, anchor, and table row tier and table data TD will be necessary. We have to declare what the document type is. You will see the doc type declaration is here at the first of the W3 school tag list. We have to add the document type here first. How to write the doc type? This is how you need to write the doc type. The doc type needs to be extended to this for better compatibility. So uh, you don't have to write this line all the time. You can just copy and paste this and save for future use for your email template. This doc type declaration needs to be uh, placed at the very top of the HTML file. Similarly, the HTML tag needs to be extended to this. 
there are lots of email clients around 80 email clients available like gmail yahoo apple mail aol outlook etc so to make it well supported uh, you need to extend the html by writing this line you can just copy the doc type and html line completely and use in all of your email templates so this is the very starting point of our html file html file consists of more common things like html head and html body what is the contents of the head head contents uh, are the css the cascade style sheet the li external links like fonts and the body contains all the viewable things that you will see in the browser or in the email inbox that will be situated in the body part so uh, let's write something in the body part and see what happens html email templates are table based that means the old school table codes are used in the html what is a html table you can find it in the w3 school set tables w3 schools and search it on google and you will see the tables here you can see the code and click on the try it yourself and it will open up a editor window there you can play around with these codes so i am writing it here table i'm using a quick method of typing for you you need to type it manually like table and then I have the autocomplete on so it's getting auto completed if your autocomplete on brackets is not on then you have to write it manually the table structure contains the two parts like table row and table data tr and td i am adding some space here which is not necessary but i am adding this to beautify these things whatever you have to display on inbox and on browser needs to be written inside the td part write something here once you open the html file on firefox you will see there is no code but what i read inside the td table data is available here so congratulations you made a very basic html page already this is our starting point you can check all the tags in w3 schools or you can learn a little basic html on youtube and i will publish the second part of our email template tutorial very soon for now i can send you a tag list that you can practice or that you can check on w3 schools before watching the second part you have to check the table the table tier td things and the paragraph p things and the anchor anchor is the link how you will add a clickable link on your email template that's the anchor a tag then the image tag how you will use an image on your html email template you noticed that there is no closing tag for the image this is applicable for some tags like image like links it is see in the html that we will discuss later for now this is your practice things before watching the second part i'm pretty sure you might have some questions so please feel free to comment below it's all for today see you at the episode number two till then have a great day bye bye